Alright, hello, welcome to my Religious Life video blog. I, I, I won't say it. Because I couldn't even keep... <laughs> so, no, this is what happens when I try to blast Michelle Wolf in, in the face. Oh, I forgot one more thing. Shame on you, Michelle. That is not nice to do this. But anyways, uh, here is my uh, Religious Life video blog, but enough of that. Anyways, uh, get inside our fifth, fifth Sunday of Easter. And, um, and it's going to be cool. It's going to be wonderful. Anyways, uh, let's see. What have I told you? You, know, you might think you're so smart about raisins and grapes, or should have said this. But anyways, uh, in John 15, chapter 1 through 8, says, I am, the, I am the true vine, and my father is the vine grower. He removes every branch in me that bears, that, that bears no fruit. Every branch that bears fruit, he is, yeah, he, he, he prunes to make it bear more fruit. And you have already been cleansed by the word that I have spoken to you. Abide in me as I abide in you, just as the branch cannot bear fruit by itself. Unless it abides in the vine, neither you can, or neither, or, or whatever it is, neither you can, un, unless, yes, you can, can you, unless you abide in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. Those who abide in me, and I in them bear much fruit. Because apart from me, you, you can do nothing. Whoever does not abide in me is throw away like a branch and withers. Such branches are gathered, thrown into the fire and burned. If you abide in me and my words thrown into the fire and be burned, no, uh, burned. If you abide in me and my words abide in you, ask whatever you wish and it will be done for you. My Father glorified by this, that you bear much fruit and become my disciples. Okay, so that is why Father Karcher does uh, does a does his his a wonderful sermon at my church, and uh, it's all about Bakersfield, California. It's just one of the ways of state of California, whatever it is. Uh, and and Father Carter, Carter says there are a bunch of grapes in this uh, vineyard in uh, Bakersfield, California, and um, well, yeah, that's what Father Father Carter said, and. Uh, <laughs> Anyone who sees grapes or uh, turn its grapes into raisins, <laughs> oh gosh! But but here is the metaphor about this about this vine on John for John fifteen, and it says that um, because it begins with a blessing of relationship with Jesus and through him with with the Father. So that is why, as the Father has loved me, so I have loved you. Abide in my love. Uh, love. Because here's why, here's why I'm going to say. Here's why it has yet the outcome of this love. <laughs> love is not passive bliss, but productive labor. Because it was... Because in the metaphor of this one, can it express bear, express as bearing fruit as far as we can So, um, so as you know who that is why, everybody's trying to bear fruit about this one. Because God, 
because bearing fruit because everybody in hell has abided in me and bears so much fruit. So that is why the God who produced the universe wants his people that wants people. Yeah, that's right. To be productive too. My father glorifies by this and it could be much more fruit. Bearing fruit, whatever it is. And our ability is to do what? Work that makes it make makes it a, an everlasting difference in the world is a great gift from God. And here, here's one from John, John 15 says, I appointed you to go, that's right, and bear fruit, and the fruit that will last, so that, <laughs> that the Father will give you whatever you ask, him in my name. So in the promise uh, of the effect, effect of effectiveness echoes that Jesus promises earlier that the one fact who believes in me will also do the work that everybody does but in fact will uh, a greater works will do you you know say it's from John 14 I will wrap this up a little bit later now um Here's the thing. Here's the thing to 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 say this these things, because I know that Father Karcher talks about grace <laughs> in in his sermon this morning at my church, and I was asking, what? <laughs> asking what grapes raises? Well, you might think you're so smart that the fruit born by Jesus fall followers is to sometimes to take take these ref uh, take to refer to converts to Christianity greater works than these that would them would then mean more you guessed it more of this converts than I myself made and for those called to evangelism this is certainly true if Jesus is speaking in this passage to, to the apostles. And guess what? Appointed as you know who. They were speaking, or, or should we say, they were preaching the good news in this whole passage. And perhaps fruit refers to, you guessed it, only to converts. But he is, and here's what, he's speaking to believers in general. And then fruit must refer to the whole range of these things. Well, guess what? The entire world was created through him. And the works that I do, including every imaginable kind of work, you guessed it, for us to do greater works than herefore, heretofore to see Seeing this deciding better software feeding more people. It's not the software inside this computer needs needs or whatever happens. But it has more people and an education educating wise wiser students and others. In this I mean organizations like customers being satis satisfaction in employing the capital. Because the value of bearing fruit does not lie. In whether in we work in business, governor, government, health care, whatever happens. But the value lies in whether education, religion, all that stuff. But the value lies all the work servers service in this people's needs. I am giving you these commands so that you may love one another another. And the moral story of this Religious Life video blog for this fifth Sunday of Easter. Take, for instance, from John chapter 14, verse 21. It says that, um, let's see. Yes, here it is. The person who has, has my commandments and obeys them is the one who loves me. 
And that's why the Father who loves me will be loved by my Father, and I will love him and will reveal him, myself to him. You see? It does. And that is why, in this fifth Sunday of Easter, that's, that is the service is the active form of love. Simple? Make sense to you? Good. Oh, did I mention raisins? If you put raisins on, you, you put inside oatmeal or whatever happens, guess what? <laughs> Everybody knows the fruitful word is grapes. <laughs> I know. Anyways, that's my uh, religious life video blog story. Now I'm sticking to it.